Hey guys, um, I want to talk to you a little bit about your graphing quadratics and specifically our axis of symmetry, okay? Um, so we've talked about our axis of symmetry. It is kind of the beginning step of dealing with our graphs. Um, it is a line that goes straight up and down um, starting at a spot on the x-axis, okay? It is an equation, so you see here I have x equals. Um, a lot of times in class we've been seeing um, just a number there. It should be an equation. It should say x equals some number there. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this problem here first. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label my A, B, and C. That's helpful because we have a little formula for this. This is the only real formula you guys got to mess with um, initially with this topic. So we got to make sure we label our pieces. A again is always with my x squared. B is with my x. C is my constant. It is my number that is all by itself. Okay, our axis of symmetry is x equals opposite B over 2 times A. Okay? So all we're going to do then is fill in our pieces from up above. I have a positive 4, so opposite B says to make it a negative 4. On the bottom, I have 2 times my A value. My A value here happens to be a negative 2, so I bring down negative 2. The top, there's nothing to do, so it just stays negative 4. The bottom, 2 times negative 2 gives me negative 4. When I divide this, negative 4 divided by negative 4 gets me a whole number 1. So for my axis of symmetry, I have x equals 1. Okay, again, this is like an opposite b, so don't think of it as negative. It's opposite b, so whatever your b value is, you flip the sign. When I go to graph this, again, it's an equation. It's x equals 1. So what that tells me is on my graph, I'm going to look on my x-axis, again, the x-axis left and right, and I'm going to go to the 1 position. So this is positive 1 right here, and I will make my dotted vertical line. The reason why it is dotted is because it is technically not a part of the actual graph itself. It is kind of an imaginary line separating the two equal sides from each other. Again, acts of symmetry because both sides are symmetrical. They're exactly the same um, on one side of that line compared to the other. Okay. Hopefully this helps again with axis of symmetry. Uh, there's a couple more videos to come telling you about each of the other parts of graphing quadratics. Again, let me know if you got any questions. See you guys soon.